Hi everyone, this is a video just to go through how to access the English work on SharePoint and how to carry out the work on OneNote for anyone who isn't 100% sure on how to do that yet. So what you need to do is you need to access the website. So you can do that through just typing in St Edward's Pool School into Google. When you get there, there will be some links at the top of the page. So what you need to do is you then need to go to students. Then you need to go down to links and then there's one way to check your email and one way to check resource 365, which is the SharePoint page. Uh, it might ask you to sign in there, in which case you use your school email address and your password. The password should be the same as the password you use when you log into a computer at school. Now what you need to do for your English is you need to go down to where it says English and click on it. Now some people are getting a bit confused as to what the work is that they should be doing. So your work is going to be accessed through this sign here. But if you scroll down, you'll see Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5. So this is some more information about the subject. So if you were to go into Key Stage 3, You'll see the banner is there again that you can click for the work itself. You can also see some home learning as well. So although we're doing it all at home, the expectation is still to be thinking about what homework would you be doing should we still be in school. So for Year 7, we're on Unit 2, which is this one, Year 8, Unit 2, Year 9, Unit 2. This is the Romeo and Juliet work, this is some detective and short stories work, and here is the private peaceful work too. If you wanted to have a look at what you should be doing this week, you need to click on here. So a really simple way of finding out where your work is, is to be looking along here, depending on what class you're in. So for Key Stage 3, if I were to look at Year 7, I click on the folder here. So this is the work for Year 7, and it's really helpfully made very clear by putting it at the top. So here is your work for this week. There's four sessions because you should be having four lessons a week. So for your first lesson, if your first lesson was yesterday with your English teacher, or if your first lesson was today with your English teacher, you carry out this task. This should be an hour's worth of work. Now, a lot of people are asking questions about this topic, this uh, first lesson. This is just about the novel that you're reading currently at home. Okay, if you haven't finished it yet, you can always do one on a book that you've recently finished because reading is ongoing. So you should always be reading a reading book. Um, you should always have a reading book with you. You should be reading whenever you can, if you can. I know that um, obviously the school is shut and libraries have shut. So if you've got any books at home that you can read or if you've got access to the Internet, there's quite a few websites that have books uh, free books. Um, there's a website called Audible, which has got some audiobooks for free, which you can listen to. You can, of course, plan it around that too. Um, so if you can't do this yet because you haven't finished your book or you haven't read a book recently, then you can always come back to it when you've finished your book. But the expectation is to have carried out session one. You've then got session two, which is your second English class that week, third English class that week, and then your fourth English class that week. So these should all take about one hour, one to two hours. I mean, it depends how you work, it depends how quickly you get the work done. Um, we're not asking you to spend hours and hours on this. So just take your time, no pressure, um, but all the work and the layout and the resources are all on there for you. So for Private Peaceful, for Year 7, it's got a link to the book here. So you just need to click that link and it will take you to the whole novel. So the whole novel has been uploaded onto this link. If you can't remember where you left off, you just need to go back through. You might need to repeat some of what you've read and just remind yourself. For year eight, year nine, year 10, it's all the same format. In fact, it's, this is the same format that all subjects are using at the moment. Um, it's all the same. So hopefully that should be pretty straightforward. Now, OneNote. If you have a look at the work there, you've understood what task you have to do. What you can do next is you can need to carry out this work in your 
OneNote class book. And the instructions of how to do that is here. Okay, so I'm going to carry out those instructions. So first of all, you need to go up here to these dots. You then need to scroll down to go to OneNote. And that will take you to your class books. So here are my class books. Most of them are English and drama because that's what I teach. But you might have had class notebooks set up by your different teachers for different lessons. I've certainly sent some class books for my lessons uh, for my classes too. So here are my classes that I've been I teach. So um, just as an example, let's imagine that I click on one of these. Okay, imagine I click on one of these. I won't before. Um, obviously names and personal student data and things. But imagine I click on that one, that will take me to something that looks like this, okay? So you'll have welcome, collaboration space and content library. And then you have the names of all the students in the class. I don't know if you can see that as a, a student, but certainly as the teacher, I can see all of the names of the students that I teach down the side here. So I imagine this like a pile of exercise books. And uh, for each student, there are two books, there's a workbook and an assessment book. So for your work that you're completing at home, you carry it out all in this book here, your workbook. Your assessments will come later, so don't worry about your assessment book yet. You just have to worry about your workbook. So for each day that you have an English lesson, you write the date. Uh, if you share the class with uh, another teacher, you put the teacher's name that you would have for that day and therefore your teacher who you have for that day know to mark the work for that day. If you're not sure what teacher it is, it's literally the same as what's on your timetable. So for example, if you were going into school today, who would be teaching you English today and then put their name. So for example, if I taught my year seven English class today, they would put my name the date and then the work. So I know that the work for this week started with 250 word letter to uh, the author of the book I'm reading. So I'm writing this to JK Rowling who's the author of Harry Potter for example and then I would carry out the work like this. Now as you can see here it saves it automatically so you don't need to worry about having to save it or where to save it. It saves it automatically online. So when you're done with this and you've done an hour's worth of work or you're happy with your work, you just need to make sure that it says saved. If there's an internet connection situation which has gone wrong or if there's a little bit of a wobble in your connection and it doesn't say saved, you can always copy and paste it into a Word document if you've got Word or a note pad uh, on your computer or whatever that you've got accessible so that you're not losing the work that you've done for that session. And then for tomorrow's lesson, uh, for example, if they had another teacher for that lesson, they would put that teacher's name. Okay? And all of the work is obviously on the video that I've showed you so far. So all you need to worry about then is you can play around with it here, make sure it's the same size, make it nice and neat, okay? So the idea is that your teachers can mark accordingly. So that's it. It's saved. What I can do now is click off, because it's saved, and I'm done. So go to the workbook relevant for you. Your page will look different, obviously. It will have maybe English, drama, science, maths, but that's how you work OneNote. I hope that's been helpful. If you've got any further questions or worries, um, feel free to email your English teacher or Mr Lee who can help you with any technical situations that you might have. Okay, take care everyone and stay safe for now.